Welcome to jobskillshare.org part 5 today we are going to start on part 5 so let's get to the lab and let's discuss the scenario first the scenario is about Active Directory this is something that you are going to be using a lot if you're a new IT person I can tell you that you're going to get calls like this on a regular basis that I'm locked out of account I'm working from home but my account is expired uh, can you reset the password for me uh, maybe you get a call that a person is saying I'm trying to get into this application but I'm getting a login uh, again and again and uh, everything is airing out so some of the, these things are, are you're going to learn with your experience when you start working on computers but you can use some tools to help you out um, with this with the situations like this so in a real world environment you have an Active Directory domain you know that you are working in a company and they have this and you have your own machine so let's say this is the machine it doesn't have an Active Directory on this machine so it, like I said in my other videos I showed you guys how to install the add-on and that basically becomes like an Active Directory computer and then you can manage things from here but what if you don't want to do this you don't have that you can also use some of the scripts so let's talk about that so the first script that I want you guys to search in Google is type something like this Active Directory Active Directory um, password HTA script so just type that and enter and when you enter that you can see right here um, AD management utility HTA script center so you can click on that once you click on this then what you need to do is to get the code this is a script I'm not going to get in two details with what HTA is it's just another scripting like batch files VBS other things so see we have a script right here so make sure you use this in your lab environment so just copy this this whole section in this box minimize this and then open your notepad and here we're gonna open a notepad right click put it in your notepad and then save as we're going to name this uh, AD tool this is going to be your tool on your machine make sure you change this to all files and put it on your desktop that's it you you can put it anywhere oh mistake so need, I need to open this again and to make sure that I save it as HTA I forgot about that that was the main part so now we need to do all file you see HTA will change it to a script so see right here it's like a little tool now so one thing to remember that this machine that in the real world environment you are actually logged in with your help desk account so it does have access to your Active Directory without this if you don't have access to Active Directory you won't be able to do this um, you know because it does goes out and it connects to your Active Directory that looks for whatever permissions you have whatever you can do in that Active Directory you can you can be it can be done from the script so you can double click on this AD tool and watch is going to go out and automatically fetch the Active Directory domain root. Um, so you see, you see, this is right here domain, which is HQ. My DC is do jobs to share org. And where is this information coming from? It's coming from here. If you go to the main server domain controller, and you can see right here, if when I click my username in computers, this right here, HQ dot jobs to share dot org, HQ jobs to share org and this was my domain name that I created in the beginning when I was creating the Active Directory Corp so you see it automatically went out there in 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 just one script you can even copy this text with you and then just you know when you move around to different computers and trying to troubleshoot things that that's how easy it is nothing to install actually you can see I have all the information right here let me move this taskbar so you guys can see on the bottom also but what can you do with it when you open it first of all it tell you some information right out of there like you know max password age is 42 uh, days this is you know when people call you hey how long 
when I change this new password, how when when I when I need to change this password? It's just a number, but it's just gonna make you wonder. I don't have an answer for this. So now you can answer that person. Minimum password age is one day. You know they cannot change this in one day. Minimum password length is seven. This is a very common question that people are gonna ask you on the phone. That you know I'm trying to reset my password. It's not accepting it. What is the policy? What are what what is the length of this password? So remember, if you don't have an answer right away, it's just more the person is already frustrated. You don't have the answer. You need to look for it. Of course, you'll find it. But if you have something like this, in just one click, you tell the person that, oh, this is, of course, after some time, you're going to remember this. But how cool it is, you can just go in there and know this stuff right before going to any group policies or things like that, you know, or running any command lines type, type of things. So now you have that. But other thing you can do is to, uh, you can come over here to this uh, script, and you can see control right here. And here, in control, you have a lot of things that you can do. Uh, you can change uh, a person. Let's say, for example, a username that I need to search. Somebody called me right now that they're having issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that username in Active Directory. Uh, this is the the name of Active Directory. So I'm actually finding this person this one Danish Khan is actually added he called me about some issue on my computer I just clicked on it and I searched about him and look I basically searched about it and I can I can see his information right here password set expired status uh, enable lock, lockout status not locked this is very important pieces right here why because when people call you and they're locked out because maybe they were sitting in front of their computer on a remote desktop or somewhere else and they typed their password multiple times they locked themselves out they don't get this information that they they will get locked out some people are not that technical they'll just know that it's not working but you can come here and see oh the person is actually locked out that's it i just need to go in there and right click on this go to properties and then go to account and I just unlock this person apply or <clears throat> since you're sitting in front of this machine and you have the script all you have to do is to uncheck this box check this box and commit that's it and it's gonna get unlocked so you see how it saves you that step by going all the way down there from here directly you can unlock the person now you can also change the person password another big cause that you're going to get about the password expired one now this is very easy to find out okay this person is locked out I can just simply unlock it but when you don't have these tools and someone's password has expired Active Directory doesn't tell you this you know even though it will tell you here that you can just unlock the person but it doesn't tell you about expiration here so uh, yes you can do you can find it easy way the other ways but we're talking about this script right now it tells you right there that this password is expired all I need to do is to change the pa password for this person but it can solve so many issues because some sometimes you will be working with a user and you will not get it that why is this person having these issues this person's account is not locked something is not right here all this person needs to do is to restart the machine and it's just gonna prompt you that oh your password is expired you need to change it so this is what you can do with this tool that's why I showed it to you guys so you guys can play around with it another question you can get about groups it's a very normal call that you're going to get in a company that can you move this person to this group can you remove this person from this group can you add this person to this group so for example if I go to domain admin in this uh, so you see right here in domain admin we have two two people administrator and Danish Khan if I get a call that Danish Khan no longer is an employee can you please remove him all I have to do is to come here and just remove him and he's no longer in that group anymore or I might get a call that you need to add this person to this group because he can access certain admin parts you just need to add it right here like I say this is just a tool to to make things easier for you in Active Directory of course you still need to know and learn about Active Directory from here and this is what you get from your domain uh, computer or the computer that you use to install the whole Active Directory um, administrative tool when you install that you have you get the same stuff and you still need to know and learn about this so this is why I wanted to show you guys this tool today in part 5 I hope you guys create your own labs uh, and get the active directory on it and start playing with this 
because this is the stuff that we deal with every day and especially in help this field it's it's a normal job anyone can tell you in the help this field this is a very very normal stuff and this is a very normal question in an interview that people are going to ask you another thing that I would suggest you to go to the site jobsclashare.org and take the free course which is Active Directory user management so whatever I have discussed and showed you guys right now everything is detailed in this course it's like we have a specific user section computer section group section and other things in this course and if you're also interested in a hands-on lab course then you can go to the become IT pro through hands-on labs the lab that I am I'm showing you right now is exactly exactly the same lab that you're going to be um, working on so these are the domain and then there's there's more tools that in this lab we have discussed uh, some of this is like automation when someone gets locked out how do you know how do you get an email how do you um, st do stuff like that so thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys in part six